Hi everyone, Donna here. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you could join me today. Um, today I am going through my closet and sharing with you some of the things I have in my closet that are in line with the fall 2022 trends. And I'm hoping that if you follow me as I go through my closet, that maybe it'll give you some ideas of what might be in your closet so you don't have to go out and spend extra money to be on trend this fall. So um, this video is dedicated to jeans and items that I would wear with my jeans since jeans are definitely on trend. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the first thing that I pulled out of my closet. Um, of course, my handy dandy jeans and my black um, booties and I love wearing booties with, with jeans I always have this is one of my autumn 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 tops <laughs> so I decided I would show you this first this is something my husband bought for me last year if you wanted to be a little bit more on trend you can wear this with a black blazer or even a white one which would be cute, but you could also just wear it with a nice trench coat. Um, it could be a white trench coat, a black trench coat, um, any other any type of jacket. And when I mentioned earlier about the crop jacket, you could even wear a crop jacket with this. So this is the first thing that I set aside out of my closet to wear. And it don't let it bother you that the sleeve on the shirt is longer than the sleeve on the jacket because a lot of the styles are that way anyway. Here we go with this. This is if you want to dress it up a little bit or if it's just a little chilly out but not too bad, you can just throw this jacket over it. Or if you live here in Southern California like I do, you could get away with just wearing a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> So look at the red and the reds are in they're in those bright colors so i found this uh, red blazer and i'm wearing it over just a simple white t-shirt and if you want to wear a long sleeve t-shirt with this you can I, I was just thinking too if it's like if you live in an area that's freezing why not just wear one of those white thermals and just wear this nice red jacket over it i'm wearing it with a pair of jeans and my favorite red high heel pumps So this is a black jacket. Um, it's a velvet, like kind of a crushed velvet feel to it. Very comfortable. And I'm just wearing it with a white shirt underneath. Again, that could be a tank top, a t-shirt, or you could wear a long sleeve because you know your sleeve is gonna come out, but you could get away with that. Um, you can also layer more over it if you have to go out in the cold weather. I'm wearing it with jeans and a pair of my black pumps. These are suede black pumps. I've had them for a very long time <laughs> and I'm happy to be pulling them out again. And I, again, I think I've mentioned it a few times, but I love wearing heels with jeans. There's just something about that look that I totally love. So I hope you like this outfit. Okay, so I found this in my closet. I remember when I bought this, I was so excited about it. This is about as close as to a crop top as Donna gets. <laughs> so um, as you can see, the bottom is just sheer black. So if you look like really close, you could see that I have skin under it, but it's not like a crop crop <laughs> where you can actually see my skin. That's just a preference for my for me but this one you know i found in my closet and i thought oh that would be perfect because it's like i said as close to a crop as i will ever get and because of the black on the bottom the black laser will look nice with it and this is my go-to black laser here as you can see i still have all my little pins on it and so this is a, a look that will go for fall. And again, I'm wearing it with jeans and my black suede pumps. You could also wear it with black booties, you know, 
gray booties. Gray booties would be really cute because you have a little bit of gray and that'll give you a little bit more gray. So the leopard print is in for fall 2022 and I found this top in my closet. I like it. It's a longer top, which I do prefer. And it's got the little pumpkin coloring in the center and the black on top. Um, and even though you may not have this exact top, I just want to give you ideas because you can wear a black jacket or blazer with this. You could wear a black sweater. Um, you could wear a cardigan. There's just so many things that you can wear and see how this looks with a black jacket. If you don't like the fact that the shirt is longer than the jacket, which when I was seeing some of the runways and some of the styling videos, they didn't seem to care that the shirts were longer than the jackets. But if you have a problem with that, all you need to do is tuck the shirt in. Okay, and then um, stripes are also in and I found this top that has the leopard print and the stripes, and um, it would look good with the black blazer as well. Very nice with the black blazer. And then um, the flowers with the stripes. So the back is stripes and the sleeves are stripes. And then it has flowers with a stripe pocket. Again, would look really nice with a black blazer. I personally think just about everything looks nice with a black blazer, but especially if it's already got some black in it. And then I have this t-shirt that I totally love. It's because hearts are my thing. And these are like coral, different shades of orange type um, hearts on it. So I love this and it will also be nice with a black blazer. If I had a coral blazer, I would be fine wearing it with this because there is all different shades of oranges in the hearts. So I could wear any shade of a coral to, you know, with it, but I'll have to settle for black, but I'm happy with that. So those are four looks right there. And I just would, wanted to share the four with you so you could like, when you're looking in your closet, realize that there may be things you could do with those shirts and blouses that you have that maybe you didn't think you could wear for the fall. So this is a suede vest with a pull string, which is really nice because you can wear it at, you know, you can wear it with the pull string or without. I'm wearing it with jeans, of course, as this whole video or is jean looks, but I'm also wearing a long sleeve black shirt. It's like a black t-shirt, really uh, pullover, long sleeve black and one thing I just wanted to mention, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but there are basic colors that we should always have in our wardrobe and basic black. So I tend to have short sleeve t-shirts, tank tops and long sleeve shirts. And you're gonna, you know, especially for sure, you should have your blacks and your whites. Um, I also like to have gray and like a tan color and then, of course, um, like a tealish green, gotta have a lavender or purple, gotta have a pink. <laughs> so those are like basics that I feel like I always need to have for my wardrobe. So if you need to buy anything, if you don't have those basics, just get some of those basics as you'll be surprised what you can do with what you already have just by adding a basic t-shirt to it. So this is an example of what I mean when I talk about a long sleeve basic. This is the same pullover shirt, a long sleeve black shirt, only this time I have a light denim vest over it. I love this vest because it has the pearl buttons and I wish I could tell you where I got it, but I just don't remember because I've had it for like ever. Um, I'm wearing it with jeans. Now I have a thing, I know monochrome is in but I don't like to wear light denim vests with light denim. You know, the light blue with the light blue. I just don't care for that look. So I always wear them with either my dark blue denims or my black. And of course you can do whatever you want, but I really think this outfit would be cute with black jeans. So now I'm gonna show you just a couple shirt, t-shirts with jeans. And this is a very simple t-shirt 
and I would just, if I wanted to cover up, to warm myself up, I'd probably put like a, the black denim long sleeve over it. I think that would go good with the color. Um, even a white or any color could go over it. Again, you could put a sweater over it, a cardigan, a blazer, anything. That's what's so cool about t-shirts like this is you can do just about anything with them. So this is one of my longer gray um, shirts. I love the high-low effect. I always like the high-low effect. And I wear these with jeans. I think they'd be cute if you had like gray booties, which I don't have and I don't plan on buying any, so I'll probably just wear them with my black, my black booties. Um, I think they'd be really cute with black jeans as well. And um, you could also wear any color. That's one thing I like about gray. You can wear any color blazer or sweater or cardigan with it because it's going to match. So I mentioned in our um, trends list that metallics were going to be in for the fall. So I got this blouse out of my closet. Now I know it's short sleeve, but as the weather gets a little cooler, all we need to do is put a jacket. It can be a blazer. It can be a cardigan. Um, it could be a vest. It could be a crop jacket, anything like that. And um, all the, the things that I'm going to be showing you today, the same principle applies, that we can always put something over it because layering is really big this fall. And that trend is going to continue into winter. So this is one of my metallic representations. <laughs> Look what I found when I shopped my closet. I actually forgot I had this. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll find some surprises in your closet too. But this is um, the fringes. Um, a lot of the fall 2022 fashions had the fringes on them. So this is perfect to go over a white t-shirt or a long sleeve white t-shirt. Or you could even do pink because it's got the pink stripes. So I, I'm really... I'm really loving this. <laughs> so this is another Shop My Closet outfit. And it is extremely comfortable and very Southern California as far as the weather is. I'm wearing it with my black booties, but this would also be cute with a pair of white booties. So this is another metallic item that I found in my closet as I was shopping my closet. And it's a, a purple color, which I like. And it's also warm. It's not like a light sweater type feel to it. So the part that comes over is a light sweater. And when we talk about layering, this is basically what we're talking about. We're gonna have a blouse with something over it that we're going to layer. And if you're in an area where it's freezing, you can always throw on another layer, you know? So anyway, this is one that I shopped in my closet and decided this would be right on trend for fall with the metallics and the layering. And I'm wearing it with my jeans and my black booties. This is a, another outfit that I pulled from my closet. This is a t-shirt style little cute little jacket and I wore a gray, just a regular gray t-shirt under it. Um, this is perfect for fall in Southern California with the three quarter inch um, length sleeves. And what I would usually do is if it was a colder day, I would just throw on like a trench coat or a jacket or something to give a little bit more warmth. But for you know, the, the fall here in Southern California, this is like the perfect outfit. I love it with the blue jeans and the black booties. And this is a very classic look, um, black and white. And black and white is on trend. As a matter of fact, all black, black on black is even on trend. So this would be really cute, I think, with a black pair of jeans or even a white pair of jeans. So um, this is a black denim shirt over a white t-shirt basically. And um, denim for me is warm. 
So it is a good fall winter outfit to wear. And again, as I've mentioned several times, we can just layer if we need more and more. So this is another Shop My Closet. Fall 2022 with jeans and my black boots. This is a vest. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a vest that I pulled out of my closet. It's very comfortable and I'm wearing it with a gray t-shirt. Again, perfect for fall here in Southern California. If it's a little chillier, I'll wear a long sleeve gray t-shirt with it, which you can also do. And if it's an area where it's like super, super chilly, I'll, you know, you can just throw a jacket over it. So um, I really like this look together. And this vest is really special to me because my mom has passed away. She passed away about four years ago, but she made this vest for me. So I'm really excited to be able to wear it for fall. I'm wearing it with a pair of jeans and of course my black booties. Here we go, here's another outfit I just pulled out of my closet and I like that it has the white underneath and then we've got the turquoise shish, um, blue green, I guess it's more of a green, um, cover over it. Yes, it is short sleeve. So um, if you're in an area where it gets colder, you would probably want to put a blazer or something else over it. It doesn't matter how much you layer, you know, um, to keep warm because layering is, as I've mentioned a few times, on trend for fall 2022. So this, I am really excited to be able to pull out of my closet and wear again. Again, wearing it with jeans and my black booties. So this is the last shirt I'm gonna show you in the jeans video. I love this shirt. I love the flowers um, on the side with the little, little rhinestones on them and rhinestones and sequins, you know, they're coming back. We, we talked about that at the beginning. I think I might just have to go out and buy a pair of white jeans to go with this because I think it would be so cute with white jeans. So anyway, I hope that um, you enjoyed some of the, the styles that I pulled out of my closet and put together. And I hope that this will inspire you to shop your closet and see what you can put together in line with the fall trend so that you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to be on trend for fall. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like this video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.